Josie talked about it like the moment in Heat where Pacino yeah. and De Niro meet and you kind of, these two people that have been mm. playing cat and mouse this whole time finally face each other. And, and likewise, we've been playing this, you know, intricate game of political chess for so long and it's so emotionally charged every move that, um, you know, to really face off in that moment, it, it's more than just a, you know, it, it was more than just like a, a business, a work chat, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It, it was kind of like, it was kind of it, their sisterhood was at stake. Oh. It's also that idea as well of like image and how how much stronger the idea of an image was back then because all they had were letters and portraits, and so mm. to finally to, to have spent so long imagining what Margot was going to look like as Elizabeth and you know even how she was going to play it to actually be in the room with her meant that. I was feeling it just as much as Mary would have done. So yeah. mm. there was something nice about that. You, Margot, obviously had a, a lot more makeup than I did. <laughs> um, but I even found like getting ready in the morning and having to take 45 minutes out of the schedule just to put clothes on yeah. was such a great way to get into the character every day because it would have taken her like a couple of hours to get ready every single day. Yeah. And and just the clothing was quite constricting, mm. due, you know, due to the, yeah. the corsets and, and the number of layers and the way it was, you know, tied on, their sleeves were tied on. It wasn't all stitched together in one piece. It was yeah. just, it was, it, yeah, like Sir said, it was an entire process to, to physically become that character. And it, I found it, you know, with the prosthetics, the bald cap, the wig, the corsets, everything, it's like kind of suffocating and it was, uh, very helpful to to feel like oh wow I've you know Elizabeth's built this facade and this image and it's it's kind of suffocating her at the same time it was that was kind of half my acting job done for me. Hmm. I was going to say Theresa May and Nicola Sturgeon and you know that in itself is is such a, a mirror to like what's going on right now um, or a parallel and. So she was smart and she was good um, and she it's like if she was alive today, if she was a politician today, she's sort of like a, a Bernie Sanders or something where you're like, oh, you seem like a really decent person and, you, you know, you're a great politician or whatever. Um, but unfortunately, those people tend to not make it very mm. far, which is which is such a shame. But um but yeah, so there was an awful lot I didn't know about her. And then the more I learned about her and compared it to what I had been told about her, it just kind of outraged me that for so long this fake news had spread essentially from Cecil from the 15th century and people God believed news. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You would have me depose the sister monarch. All I have done is try to unify this land. But they are trying to usurp my crime. But I will be the woman she is not. Should you murder me, and you murder your queen? Two of the queen, Mary and Elizabeth.